Hey guys, Kenny Kuchu here and today I'm gonna teach you how to install mods as loose files into Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. This tutorial is meant for the NTSC version of the game, so I cannot guarantee if this same process could work with the PAL version, since I've never touched it and I never will. All programs and download instructions are linked in the description below. First of all, you're gonna need to extract all files inside of the disk or ISO image. You can do this with either DKC Studio, Diamond Tools or any other program of your election, so long as it lets you extract the files into a folder on your hard drive. Once you have these files, we're gonna go to this little folder called Data, which contains several different files, however, we're only gonna touch the files PCS3US1, which contains every character file, and PCS3US2, which contains all of the game's main audio files, 65,000 of them to be exact. Now, we're gonna open those two files using DKC Studio, and inside the first AFS we're gonna browse through all of the files until we find the character files which we want to replace. You can do this by checking the name of said file using the list that comes in the tools which I provided, again, links in the description below. Very important to note, each character has 12 files inside of this AFS, 4 normal suits, 4 battle damage suits, 1 animations file, 1 special effects file, and 2 extra sound files. Since I want to replace Goku early with Zeno, then what I'm gonna do is right-click, import and select Zeno. Same process with the damage suits. Now these 8 files are always followed by the animation file, and then the special effects file. Same process, right-click, import, select moves and done. Right-click, import, select SFX and done. Now we're gonna go down till page number 4, just after the last character files which are future Gohans. Now here, we're gonna have the extra sound files. All sound files, including the ones in the AFS2, are organized in the same way, first the Japanese, then the English ones. And they're all in the same order as the list of characters that I gave you. Once you locate them by name or order, simply right-click, import, and that's it. Now onto the AFS2 file. Here we have 65,000 audios. Quite bitchy to find the ones we're looking for, but not impossible, since they're all named. All characters have 100 ADX sound files each, and you can identify the order by noticing the one that has the two last digits as 74, which marks the first sound file of each character. Once we've identified this file, we simply right-click, rename, and we copy that file's name. Now we go to the folder in our PC where we have our loose character audios. Select them all and very, very important, go to the top of the list and right click the first file without deselecting the rest of the files. Now click on rename, paste the name we just copied on the AFS2, click enter and that should simultaneously change all of the names of all the files in that folder. Now we simply select them all again and drop them on the AFS2. Replace all, save the new AFS and replace the old one, and that's it. Now you can reburn the image using Image Burn and you're all set and ready to go. And that's it for today guys, I hope this tutorial helps, if you have any doubts or if I wasn't clear enough, please feel free to message me in my Facebook page and I will assist you as promptly as possible. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Kinikuchu out.